Hi, my name is H, and welcome in another video from the Hummingbirds. Let's begin with this simple, yet complex question. Is the iPhone photo quality as superior to their counterparts of the Android worlds? It was a true, that if you're an Apple user, you may have noticed some blurry photos and videos sent from Android devices. This truly was happening 5 to 8 years ago, leading people to assume that the camera quality on those devices are bad. But this isn't necessarily the case, and I'll explain why in seconds. So the biggest misconception of poor image quality on Android devices isn't the camera lens itself, but an app called Snapchat and nowadays Instagram. The Snapchat when it was first introduced back in 2011, it was only available on iPhone, and iOS system. Once Snapchat's popularity skyrocketed, with millions of downloads, the company rushed to create a version of the app for Android system, and trust me it was a disaster by all means, and proved to be inferior to the iPhone's version of the app, mainly due to the complexity of Android's ecosystem, as many people think. Yes, the Android ecosystem was and still, fragmented, with hundreds of different phones running various versions of the Android operation system. From Android 6 to 12, that makes it difficult for developers like Snapchat to ensure their app functions properly on every single Android device. Now, hear me out, because the devil lives in the details. And the truth was and still simply the camera API. Out in the wild, there are over a 1000 Android devices released every year. Their camera systems run with different versions of API, or instruction sets, for their many types of cameras and sensors. So, if an app want to access those cameras, it will run only with their very basic API. So when Snapchat and nowadays Instagram app released for Android, besides having a lot of issues, like constant lagging, crashing, and freezing, and when you could get the app to work, the photos it took were in bad quality compared to the iPhone's images. By the end of 2014, 40% of adults in the US were exchanging photos using Snapchat. Nowadays, Instagram is the major photo sharing app, and with more or less of the same problems with Android cameras which propagated the assumption that Androids had bad cameras, even though it was Snapchat's and Instagram's apps problems. Those faulty apps are causing the problems. Even after an update to Snapchat on Android was released in 2019, fixing many of the reliability issues and improving photo quality, but the API problem not resolved totally. But, in the recent years, major Android players, like Samsung and Xiaomi, open their camera systems API with those apps, fixing almost all the issues, and even give the user better quality. But due to the numerous devices Android World release each year, now the only likely cause of bad pictures on Android is the device's camera system, and its quality which can vary with the model, the price, and the manufacturer of the device. For example the Motorola Moto E is $150, and takes photos that are quite blurry and low quality but the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, which retails for about $1,200, both has a fantastic camera system, that would never be mistaken as low quality. But consider Apple, where the lowest cost iPhone they've ever released, is the iPhone SE, which retail for $400. So, Apple doesn't compete at the ultra low end of the market. Besides the fact that Snapchat and Instagram and any other multi-million user app, have to deal only with only, 3 or 4 models of the iPhone every year not a 1000 Android's phone. And the fact that, all iPhone are so expensive, compared to their counterpart of Android. The photo quality of iPhones may be in some of those apps. Focus with me my friends, in some of those apps, appear to be superior to the non-flagship Android phones. With that being said, a sub to the channel would be fabulous, and as always, see you in the next one.